and we are back live from Amsterdam at the ThingsCon 2017 conference. And together with me now is Jan de Waal. Jan, welcome. Thank you. Um, you're known uh, uh, as, as a person that has uh, uh, different roles within this uh, ThingsCon organization. So what, what, what is your relation with, uh, with uh, ThingsCon? Um, well, I think it's, it's twofold. Um, of course, uh, being part of Info.nl, one of the sponsors. But I think mainly th this edition is as a spectator uh, from, uh, from the creative industries. You know, um, my role in Dutch creative industries. And I think uh, ThingsCon is, is a very great example of uh, well, what, what, we, what we can do, uh, our power as innovators in the creative, with the creative sector. So it's great to be here. So, so uh, ThingsCon is mainly about uh, IoT. Uh, how important is IoT uh, for the creative sector? Um, it's, it's actually it's important in two ways. Of course, it's a new era of, 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 for designing and developing product service systems um, um, in various domains, uh, smart cities, smart mobility, all the smart stuff. Um, but I think, and, and that's what you see here at, at ThingsCon, it also... Um, puts a finger on uh, our role as designers, uh, that it's not only about, about designing products, but also the place in society, the role they play on, 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 a, on a more societal scale. So that, that's very interesting, I think. And uh, you can see that with, in the, as a trend with the latest things, cons, that it's really about ethics, what, what we're going to do with it, what about privacy, all those stuff we touched last year a little bit is now more mature, and that makes it very interesting, I, I think. Well, these are very interesting topics, uh, obviously very important topics. So, so what about ethics and, and design? How are we going, or how is the sector, or how is the industry going to incorporate that in products and everything? Well, um, I, I think it's a huge opportunity for, uh, for creative industries. Uh, not only, uh, uh, well, say product designers or digital designers, but also for architects, uh, for industrial designers, uh, because it, it really shows that our domains are blurring. Uh, Especially in the smart city area, uh, that used to be, well, still is, of course, a, a domain of large corporations. But increasingly, you see uh, questions being asked, well, who is the end user, the citizen? What are, how are we going to, what are we going to design for, for him or her? So um, that role, that ethical role or, or value role, you could say, is, of course, uh, a role which suits very well uh, with designers uh, being uh, being experienced in, in, the, in creating solutions with, with very different requirements, not only ethics or, or, or economics, but also uh, society value. So that's just, just realize uh, now that, that, that it's, uh, it's easy to say that we have to incorporate uh, ethics, um, but, but do designers and, and, and uh, manufacturers have knowledge about ethics? Because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to say, hey, do some, put some ethics uh, at it, but what is it actually, true, these ethics? True. And, and yes. there's, there, there's no, well, no... You know my background, I'm, 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 I'm from, I have an engineering background, so I'm not, I'm not an expert either, but um, actually that, that's one of the, the focus points we invest in from the creative industries, uh, really uh, extend the knowledge base uh, for designers on, on these topics. So uh, we're developing programs with uh, the, the university uh, society to put in place uh, those kinds of questions in the design processes. And I think that's one, it's a very important question because uh, we, you increasingly see that, that there are lots of experiments, but, but uh, tackling these issues on privacy, on, on um, security, but also on, on value for, for society, uh, which make it difficult for big transitions to move forward. Yeah, yeah, and it's 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 never been done before on, on this large scale, and especially these ethics. I mean, uh, uh, there's obviously a few people that study ethics, uh, but apart from that, uh, it's easy to say, but it, there's not one set of ethics that you can just uh, uh, comply with, and then it works. True, uh, uh, and, and and there is also a big boundary or say a separation between ethic theoretical theorists and and the, well, for example, the design, from the design or the development or the tech community. So, uh, but, but you can see uh, there are already lots of, of, of research programs uh, trying to well, uh, model this, 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 uh, this, sub, this topic. Yeah. So how's the adoption of, of uh, including ethics and the security and privacy? Is, is, is that, are most companies and designers happy to do that or, or is there still a lot of, uh, as, oh, well, maybe in the future, but not now? Well, I think it's, it's um, as always, it's, it's, uh, first it starts with a matter of definition. Right? Is it, is it, is it, uh, well, initially, and I think it's also 
part of our cultural uh, society, uh, artists who, who put it on the agenda. And then, of course, it's, uh, but it should not, not only be at that part of the agenda. I think as designers, we should really take this into our daily, daily working life, uh, doing that. And I must say, uh, that's what I like about things, going to get back to the topic, because here you see at, at really at the root level, on the, on, at the maker's level, um, the personal question is, do I want to make this product? Because um, yes, it's it's also it has some privacy concerns. But then again, I want to have it on. I want to have it out there. So it, it really combines your role as a as a designer, uh, or your your, your respons responsibility as a designer, uh, in, in terms of what you're going to make. Yeah. So and and. Um have you seen already projects or products that are actually being developed now or are already on the market where you say, okay, this is typical for a person that is, or a company that has really thought about ethics and, and, and all these things that are topics here um, before putting something on the market? Mm, to be honest? No. No. Not even at Info. That, well, of course. <laughs> no, no. Well, well um, um, you know, at Info we're developing lots of platforms and I, I, mean, I mean, it's not only... Uh, it's not an idealistic uh, topic. Um, we see, especially from a German side, for example, there's a lot of pressure on, on data shoots, on, on security, on privacy being built uh, in by design, and not only afterwards, or as a security issue, but really uh, from a uh, design perspective into, IO, into systems. And, but of course, with IoT, it's still, uh, um, well, it's still in, in its early stages. Um, so uh, over there, it's quite far more difficult, uh, I think, to have real good ex examples. But of, probably they are, and I don't know them. That can be a can case be as well. well. But I, I trust <laughs> if you don't know them, they're probably not there. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Um, and so, so what, what is really uh, needed right now to, to go to the next level? Um, well, it's not only with, with IoT, but I think in a lots, lots, lots of spaces there has been a lot of experimenting, but um, and, uh, it, it lacks at some points uh, the next step to more scale. Um, also involving, uh, and that's what we try to do at, at uh, the top sector, um, there still seems to be a separation between uh, startups, creative industry, big tech comps, and, and uh, fortunately that, that's slowly moving, that, that kind of, of, uh, of borders. So the next step should be how can we create programs or, or projects that really help small companies uh, together with big companies or, or with government to make the next step in real scalable solutions. And that's in every era, I think. It's in, in, in health, it's in, uh, um, there's a lots of, of ideas, a lots of positive energy, but how can we really scale up and also present this this, these solutions in, in, uh, abroad. So, um, but that's what we're working on with, uh, with the top sector as well. So, oh, Very good. So I hope uh, that you will be here next year and we as well. And then uh, you have some uh, better examples uh, then and that we really move, to, move forward. Uh, so thank you for being here. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, we're live the whole afternoon, live from the Volkshotel in Amsterdam uh, with ThinksCon 2017. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.